everybody, my name is Alexander De Poter from Porsche West Palm Beach. I'm a Porsche sales professional and thank you so much for watching this video regarding the all new 2020 Porsche Taycan. Right behind me finished in Volcano Grey Metallic with a border red interior which we'll look at later on. Let's go for a drive. This is the 616 horsepower Taycan Turbo with 670 horsepower and overboost. Very exciting, let's go for the ride. So before we go for a drive, let's look at the specifics of this specific Taycan Turbo. Finished, like I mentioned in the introduction, in Volcano Grey Metallic. In the front, we can see the LED headlights, which are standard for the Taycan, but of course, very similar in design to the Mission E concept vehicle from a few years ago. Came out very beautiful in the final production for the Taycan. Also, these aerodynamic sides uh, to channel air around the vehicle. You can imagine that the efficiency factor together with sporty design is very important for the Porsche Taycan. In the front, we see also the air intakes on the bottom here, channeling air to the front place radiators, and in this case, also the adaptive cruise control radar and the surround view camera, um, camera system for the front. On the side, we see the 20 inch Taycan turbo aero wheels, very similar in design to the RS Spider design wheels seen on the Porsche uh, Macan and also the 992, newest generation 911. But as they are aero design, you can see that some of the spokes are closed for aerodynamic reasons. And right behind it, we can see the large caliper of the tungsten carbide brake system that was developed initially for the all new Cayenne. Being a Taycan Turbo, we can see the beautiful sporty front styling, so the side skirts. Air suspension, standard on the Taycan Turbo, we can see how beautifully low the car sits. This is really beautiful to see uh, with such a sleek sedan model. On the rear, we can see the beautiful diffuser design that Porsche was able to incorporate within the Taycan rear bumper. And also the beautiful LED light strip going across the whole rear of the vehicle. Porsche letters integrated within this light bar and then again the Taycan Turbo model designation on the back. Also on the top we see the glass roof which I'll show you when I'm inside the vehicle and let's go for the drive. So the door handles of the Taycan are very similar to the Porsche 992 by placing the fingertips below the door handle and having the key within five feet you can see that the door unlocked and I'm able to get into the Porsche Taycan. Getting in very easily, very similar to the Porsche Panamera. I'm greeted here by the dashboard showing the beautiful Taycan name and also the general design language of the vehicle on the display. Let's close the door here of the black Bordeaux red leather interior. And as I have the key inside my pocket and the door just closed, the ignition automatically turned on to the vehicle and we are ready to drive. In the center here, we see the PCM navigation system, of course, Porsche communication management. Down below here, the controls for mostly air conditioning related items. The specific one also has the ventilated and heated seats. And in front also there, we have controls for uh, navigation, music, telephone, and settings. Let's go for a drive. The Porsche Taycan has a very similar gear selector. There's the 918 Spider being placed to the right hand side of the steering wheel. We're gonna to toggle the gear selector down uh, one position. And you can see there on the right hand side of the cockpit, it changes to drive and we're ready and we're ready to go. Okay, so we're pulling out here of the dealership in the Taycan Turbo. Uh, we're sitting in the Bordeaux Red sports seats with the beautiful turbo embossing right behind my head. So that's really nicely done. This can also be replaced by the Porsche Crest and Boston headrest. Uh, but this vehicle is our demonstration vehicle and um, very exciting to go drive it again. Again, performance level staggering at 616 horsepower and 670 horsepower in overboost. Now we're driving the vehicle right now in normal. The feel of the accelerator is very natural. And that also is the same for the Sport and Sport Plus mode, which is quite different to the Porsche 911. When you drive the Porsche 911 in Sport or Sport Plus mode, you really feel a difference in the, um, the behavior of the drivetrain, which is the same in Taycan, but the natural feel, even with having so much power, is, um, is very natural, like a, a um, regular combustion driven vehicle. Um, same with the brake pedal feel. If I apply the brake pedal, it feels very natural. Uh, although part of the brake um, system, of course, is re regenerative. Um, going here around the corner, uh, this vehicle does have air suspension. Um, again, very similar to the comfort level of what we see in the Panamera. But in terms of the, um, the, the directness and the nimbleness, it feels much closer to the Porsche 911. 
As we're driving along, of course, we notice how quiet it is inside the cabin. Uh, there is an electric zoom that we hear both under accelerating as under decelerating. It's a really nice sound. Um, it's hard to actually describe how it sounds. You definitely have to experience it yourself. Uh, this one also has the electric sport sound that Porsche developed, uh, which with the collaboration on the Star Wars movies, I can almost imagine there was somewhat of a dialogue going on there. A really cool sound, again under acceleration and deceleration. It is not too much, but you can definitely hear the additional sporty emotion that Porsche is trying to create when driving Taycan and that the sound it creates. Again, driving along here in normal traffic, uh, very comfortable, very direct. The seating position feels really good, very similar to Porsche 911. You can actually notice the dimensions of the Taycan being smaller than Porsche Panamera. But then with the air suspension, air suspension system on this car, it feels incredibly comfortable. Uh, it is a four-seater in this case, so we have two seats in the back, very similar to the configuration four-seater Panamera. Uh, but the Taycan is also available with a two plus one rear seat. Slowing down here at the traffic light, uh, with the Taycan only coming out in the US market a few weeks ago. You can imagine the amount of people uh, looking at the vehicle. We've had a lot of positive responses on people uh, being triggered when you see this uh, car moving around in, uh, in local traffic. Um, all the electronics, of course, working for you. My air conditioning, navigation system, the uh, dashboard right in front of me as we're waiting here in the traffic light. Um, no, no need really to apply all the power. Um, of course, we're staying within legal speed limits, um, but having so much performance on tap makes you feel very comfortable. Um, makes you feel that um, if you do want to apply the power, it is there and ready to be used. Now, of course, above this is the Taycan Turbo S, uh, 0 to 60, even 0.4 seconds quicker than the Taycan Turbo. So the official 0 to 60 rating in the Taycan Turbo is about three seconds. And this is really repeatable performance, something that Porsche was uh, very focused on. So in different weather conditions, different temperatures, being able to apply power and getting a performance level that you expect from a Porsche model. The same also the feel of quality. I know the car just came out on the US market a couple of weeks ago in terms of the uh, earliest arrivals, but you notice the fit and finish is, is very Porsche-like. Uh, of course it is a Porsche, but um, yeah, the overall feel, the steering wheel, the leather, the door panels, the dashboard, it, it just feels like a really complete product. And it's very noticeable how much uh, time and effort Porsche has put into the development of this really new generation sports car. Um, of course, 918 Spider being a hybrid, uh, the Panamera Turbo S E hybrid being a very high performance, high power uh, hybrid car, but still combustion engine on board. But now losing combustion engines, and in this case, a dual motor setup, uh, still producing incredible amounts of power in the daily drivable car. Uh, we are charging the Taycan as much as possible as the vehicle is at our dealership. We haven't had any really restrictions in terms of its range, uh, being able to charge it at our 220 volt charger outside the dealership. Of course, the Taycan charger network will develop quite heavily the, uh, in the coming months and the coming years with a contract that was signed with the company called Electrify America. Feel free to visit their website at electrifyamerica.com to get a sense of the uh, network development happening uh, for the Porsche Taycan. This will also be the same at the Porsche dealership, where you can imagine the dealership is more, des more than just a destination of sales and service. Uh, it is the culture of Porsche, but it will also be the possibility to charge the Porsche Taycan. We're hitting here a little bit heavier traffic on the, uh, actually on the highway. Uh, I'm gonna take the exit here again. Uh, very easy to drive, very nimble. Um, battery pack, it's almost noticeable how this center of gravity is so placed, uh, so low down to the ground. Um, I guess that's really where that Porsche 911 feel comes from when you get to the corner, the directness, the movement of the, of the chassis, and especially in collaboration with this air suspension system, works really well together and feels like a really complete package. Um, the overall perception of the Taycan for our clientele and the people have had the experience to drive it has been overwhelming. Of course, the performance level for a lot of people is a, is a, is a shock in a positive way, but a lot of feedback has been about the completeness of the car, the overall luxurious feel, the touch and smell of a Porsche, the design of a Porsche, and uh, this is everything that I was hoping for and that our dealership, of course, was uh, hoping for. 
Um, if you haven't had the chance to see the Porsche Taycan, um, more than happy, of course, to assist you in the uh, South Florida market. We are located in West Palm Beach, Florida, about an hour and a half north of Miami. Um, great place, very luxurious environment. And um, with the Taycan demo just coming in a few weeks ago, uh, a great opportunity to see it in, in real life and get hopefully the opportunity to drive it. Feel free to contact me directly if you have any interest in the Porsche Taycan. I uh, would love to talk to you about the car, its trim levels, its pricing structure, and what, what I expect from this vehicle this, uh, this calendar year in 2020. Uh, the Porsche Taycan is a model year 2020. Uh, the first customer cars will start arriving in the, uh, in the coming weeks. So this vehicle is really a preview vehicle. Uh, as of this morning, we are looking at a vehicle that has almost 800 miles in about two weeks. So a great opportunity for a lot of people to experience this new level of, of Porsche, of Porsche culture, of all electric, um, and as Porsche says, soul electrified. Thank you so much for watching this video. Again, my name is Alexander from Porsche West Palm Beach. Thank you for joining me on board of the short test drive in this Porsche Taycan Turbo. And once again, my contact information will be in the video, video description. Thank you so much for watching my YouTube videos and see you next time. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.